हेलो एवरी वन दिस इज रितेश फ्रॉम डांसिंग विद डेटा क्योंकि डेटा ही जाता है सो वट आई फाइड डे टूडे वी आर गोइंग टू लर्न अबाउट द ड्रिल डाउन ऑन अ सिंगल मैप दैट मीन्स आई कम टू कोलर एड हो इट विल एक्सपेंड एंड देर इज अ गुड प्लस एंड माइनस बटन दैट विल हेल्प यू टू अंडरस्टैंड दैट यू हैव टू ड्रिल डाउन और यू हैव टू ड्रिल अप राइट ऑल्सो द प्रॉफिट रेशियो रेंज विल एक्ट अकॉर्डिंग टू द स्टेट दैट यू आर इन सो दैट्स गुड राइट इट्स ऑलवेज गुड राइट uh yeah you know that the other alternative would be to zoom in like that but that's not a very classic way to achieve the same or this way as well right one by one you'll have to because some of the points are so congested over there that you need to drill down okay i go back and let us see how we can create the same so we will be using set actions over over there so in order to create set action first of all you'll have to create set so let us do it from the scratch before moving further you can also select multiple states and it will zoom into those very particular states so that's the other advantage that you can have over there let me reset it so let us do it from the scratch first thing first let us create that map so remember that we have two different granularities on the single sheet so first it will be state and the second one it will be cities over there right so i will put long latitude on the rows and we'll define the granularity so let us go with state over there and here we can go down to city right so for a particular state we want to drill down to cities within that very particular state that's it as mentioned before that we are going to make use of uh, set action so first of all we need to create a set over there that should be based on a state so i go to my state i create a set and i say state set so we have got our state set over there as you can see we have got the state set so we need to write a calculation so that if someone can click on a state that should expand to cities right so we need that calculation so we'll create that that calculation on the top of state itself uh, so this will be our calculation so that's our calculation i say apply and i say okay let us bring that calculation to the top mark uh, i will remove the city and uh, instead of that i'll get my but before that i need to turn that or i need to change the data type of ge from geographical role none to geographical role uh, say city right we are drilling down to city so that's better and here you go So first of all, we will have to make some adjustment over there. Forty nine unknown because nothing has been selected in that very particular set. So that we need, we need to take care of the same. And I say use all. And now you will see uh, the use of that very particular set. Okay, so we get the same effect. Okay, better. In order to understand this further, let us try to show our set. Right, let us show. Now, if I select a particular state, I can see this drilling down or or say it, uh, getting dispersed dispersed into cities. But still, it is not zooming in. It is not getting us that very particular effect. Well, that can be achieved only when once you put your set to filters, and after that, you can see if I select California, it will zoom into California. I think we are almost there, but we don't have to do this manually. Instead, the set action should come here and do the things for us. So let me hide it, or or let me just select all, and hide it, and let the set action do the things for me. I go to worksheet. I say actions. Okay, for this sheet, I don't have any action. I say mm, set action, right? And after that, sheet six. Okay, fine. we have set action here i think we are good and 
And here you go. Here you go. That looks good. But still, we need to get that plus and minus sign, right? Mm, before moving further, let us just analyze this very particular map with the profit ratio. Uh, here you go. For the second one, we have to provide that good plus minus sign. So when I say sign, I go to shape. Okay, and there will be two conditions over there, right? One uh, uh, drill in, another is uh, drill up and drill down, right? So we need two condition, a Boolean condition so that we can give one shape to the true condition and the other one to the false condition. So remember that uh, there, it, there can be two ways to see this. One, you see 49 states over there. And once you drill in, uh, you see only one state, right? At, uh, at one point of time, you are at one state only. So we'll try to exploit that very particular uh, property. This size trick I got from a public uh, workbook by Ryan, that will be there at my description as well. You can go through that as well. So we will just create a simple window max size uh, calculation, right? So that's the calculation that we are going to use. So first let us understand, then we'll make it. Uh, so let, let me first put that to label so you can see one right now. And let me just compute using a uh, state. So it will move, move across the state. So you get 49 states. So, so, so that's how. And once I drill in, for example, California, it will become one. So I'll try, we'll try to exploit this property. So we just create a simple Boolean function over there. Nothing but size is equal to one or not. So it will give a Boolean output, right? And I put that to the shape. And now we have some shapes over there. So I've created some shape for myself. Uh, you can have these uh, transparent images. So for true, I get plus, okay. And for false, I have minus. So for false, it is showing plus only. So let us try to change that. So I've changed that to minus. Let me rearrange the size. And I go back. Okay. Remember the way you are moving compute using, right? That should not change, right? Okay. So that should be in our mind. So here you go. We are almost there. We have to just say dual access and here you go, Texas. I'm drilled down to that particular state. I can now clearly see those circles over there. Not only that, you have got the option to choose two states at a time and it will drill down to those very particular states. You want to go back, click on that, click on minus button and you, are go back, you can go back to the original position. So I hope this was useful for you. And this is the time to sign off. This is Ritesh signing off from Dancing with Data. Because data is what you want.